hello and welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be doing one rack of St. Louis pork ribs, and then we're gonna be doing one rack of baby back pork ribs. We're gonna be outside here on the world's smallest patio on our Oklahoma Joe Offset Highland Smoker. I'll go step by step, easy, simple video recipe, and I'll show you guys exactly how I'm doing these ribs today. Today we're gonna to only be using Jealous Devil Lump Charcoal. I love Jealous Devil, fantastic company. So we're gonna be running lump charcoal only. I have a chimney getting hot right now, full of charcoal. I'm gonna get that into the firebox. I'm gonna get it all buttoned down. And then when we have clean, good smoke coming out of the smokestack, we'll know that we're ready. Once our pit is up to about 250, 275, we'll be ready to put our ribs on. I wanna introduce you guys to two really good rubs. On St. Louis ribs, let me show you guys, we're gonna be using, ooh, can we see it? the Texas Rib Grind. Chicken fried barbecue, find him on YouTube. I've already used two bottles of this stuff. It is amazing on ribs. Coarse black ground pepper on it. It just, it's killer on ribs. So on our St. Louis, we're using the Texas Rib Grind. Now on our baby back ribs, we're gonna be using, let me show you, Russellin Rob's Pig Squeal. It's out of Fredericksburg, Texas. Fantastic little rub. We're gonna be using wrestling rubs on our baby backs, Texas rib grinds on our St. Louis. Now I spared you guys the mundane video of watching me pull the membrane off the back of the ribs and everything like that. Let me just give you a real speeded up version of me seasoning up the ribs. I used plain yellow mustard as the binder. If you don't like mustard, don't worry, you will not taste it. It's just a good little sticky binder to keep these ribs seasoned up real nice. I got the ribs, pulled the membrane, got the ribs seasoned up, let them sweat out a little bit on the kitchen sink and then now we're gonna go get them on the pit okay so stay tuned and I'll go step by step we're gonna leave them uncovered for a couple of hours do a little spritzing then we're gonna wrap it in foil for a couple of hours we'll uncover them put a little little bit of barbecue sauce because the family doesn't really like barbecue sauce and we will be ready to party one last thing that I want to add is a lot of people like their ribs different ways a lot of people like it that you could just take the bone and shake it and the meat falls off a lot of people say that that's overcooked and overdone a lot of people want it you to bite it off the bone my family likes it really, really soft, like almost the bone wiggled out. So that's how I'm gonna prepare these ribs today. But when you're doing your ribs on your Oklahoma Joe, do it however you want. The longer you do it, obviously the more tender and soft it's going to be. Just monitor your temperatures, monitor your textures, and everything will be great. All right, here we go. Okay, so let's get our St. Louis ribs with the Texas rib grind. Let's get those pushed back here. And get these set up. And then our Russell and Rob's baby backs are going to be right here. And notice how I put the ribs on the opposite side of the firebox. All right, see you in a couple hours when we spritz. Okay, just about over an hour in, we're going to give them a little spritz. This is just water and apple cider vinegar. It's a little moisture. Color's coming along. We obviously still have a long way to go. But I wanted to show you guys. two hours and 15 minutes in the pit has been holding at 250 degrees solid just running that gel devil lump charcoal and now I'm gonna use my water and my apple cider vinegar spritz and just give it a little spritz for moisture I'm probably gonna let these run at least uh, probably one more hour we'll probably do three hours unwrapped just based on what I'm seeing and yeah, they're looking absolutely phenomenal. You could see a tiny, tiny bit of pullback. The baby backs obviously are going to finish a little bit quicker, but wow, smells incredible, looks incredible. So we'll check back after three hours. Okay, so it's been three hours in the smoke. And as you could see, I laid down some knobs of butter. I've laid down some brown sugar. And now I'm going to use a little bit more of my Texas rib grind. And I'm just going to lay a little bit of this down right here. And then with that butter, brown sugar, and the Texas rib grind, I'm gonna add a little bit more moisture of my apple cider vinegar and water mix, just to give it a little more moisture in the foil. And now I'm going to take my St. Louis rack, and I'm gonna do bone side up, meat side down. If you guys could see that. And we're gonna give it a wrap. Now these are ready to go back on the pit for another hour and a half or two hours. 
We're also gonna do the same thing with the baby backs and our next rub. Baby backs, St. Louis. Notice I keep the bone side up, meat side down, so it can really absorb all that stuff. And we're in the game. See you in about an hour and a half or two. I wanna show you guys something real quick. So, as you know, they were unwrapped for three hours. They've almost been wrapped for two hours. These are basically three, two, one ribs. And the Jealous Devil lump is still running 250. 250. This charcoal is amazing. It really, really is good. So we're about to pull these off. We're going to sauce them, put them back on for a little bit. Just let that little tiny, tiny bit of sauce glaze up. And we're going to eat. I opened up the foil. I flipped them over. Okay. So we haven't sauced them yet. There's literally sitting the foil in their own juices because the kids don't like too much sauce. So I'm just going to do it like a little bit. And then I'm going to just paint it. The bark has cured. The bones are pulling back. The juice is loose. Wow. You guys, this is going to be incredible. And I'm going to leave these on here for, I don't know, another 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. Let's get a little sauce painted on. I think the rub is really going to speak for itself. I'm back. Yeah, clack those tongs, babe. Are you excited? Yeah. All right. We've done our ribs. It's been six hours. And we're about to pull them off our Oklahoma Joe smoker and put them on our brand new end grain cutting board. I will plug this thing until the end of time because it is so beautiful and you guys need to go get yourself one. It is a treat. Okay, babe. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready, babe. Yeah. All right. What do you think? How did I do, babe? How did I do? Smell really good. Okay, so we're gonna put two racks on the end grain cutting board. Okay. Oh yeah. And those are the baby backs, babe. How did you do? Oh, oh. One St. Louis, one baby back. Oh hello. Oh hello. Uh oh, what happened? What happened here? Oh, we had a, we had a man down. We had a man down. Oh no, babe. They're so tender. There you go. All right, let's get them inside and cut them up, babe. Let me just try a bite. Look, babe, babe, just... babe, you're not supposed to try a bite yet. Why? Mmm. 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 This is good, babe. <laughs> okay, let's get them inside and cut them up. So I just wanted to take a minute to thank our top tier channel members. Thank you guys so, so much. Everybody that's hit the join button that's right next to the subscribe button. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Babe and I appreciate it very, very much. Okay, so let's just do a little recap and talk about what we did during this cook. We bought the ribs at Albertsons. We took them home. We stripped that membrane off the back using a butter knife. We slathered them in mustard and we used two different types of rubs on today's cook. One on the St. Louis was the Texas rib grind and the other one was from Russell and Rob's out of Fredericksburg, Texas. I'm actually really excited for both of these racks of ribs. They're both gonna turn out amazing, I know it. Then we got our pit fired up using the best charcoal, Jealous Devil Lump Charcoal only. We're running our pit at approximately 250, 275. We left the ribs uncovered for approximately three hours. Then we wrapped them in foil using a little bit of butter, a little bit of brown sugar, and a little bit more rub, a little bit of water for moisture. We wrapped those up in foil. We let those go approximately an hour and a half, two hours, took them back out of the foil, did a light coating of barbecue sauce, let them rest on the beautiful new ingrain cutting board. We're gonna slice them up and it's gonna be fantastic. All right, let's continue on with the cook. Okay, it's time to cut these babies. Oh my gosh. They're very tender. Hold on, I gotta find the right spot. Mm. 
babe, so after you cut them up, you got to tell me what you like better. Okay. So what you're cutting right but now don't is... don't tell me which one's which. Oh, okay. Because I just want to... You want to do a top secret taste test? I do. Okay. Babe, can you hold one rib up to the camera real fast and just show... Oh! Oops, it's dripping babe. onto the camera thing. I mean, yeah. Babe, those look fantastic. Yeah, these look really good, babe. Did you put barbecue sauce on them? Yeah, they're glazed with barbecue sauce. Okay. But a light amount, because the kids only like, like, a light amount of barbecue sauce, so. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's cut up the other rack and let's do a taste test. Okay. We got baby backs that have one type of rub and a barbecue glaze on it. And then we have St. Louis that have a different type of rub on it that have a, a barbecue, same barbecue sauce. But so two different kinds of ribs. Two, two different types of ribs, but also two, two different, different types of rubs. rubs. Right. Okay. So let's, let's, ready. let's do a taste test. Okay, let's do okay. it. Okay. Which one do you want to do first? I want this. Okay, so you want to do the St. Louis first. Okay, so let's do the St. Louis first. Let me show the folks. Let me show the folks. Whoa, these Whoa. are juicy. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Mm. They're very tender. They're, they pull they're apart. Very. Easy. They're very close to fall off the bone. Which Look, I like. I know. I talked about that earlier. Mm -hmm. Some people say that's overdone. Mm-mm. That's how I like it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Honestly, very juicy. That's probably one of the better ribs I've ever made. They are. Okay. That is legitimately, side note between me and you guys, that is probably one of the better ribs I've ever made. No, that definitely is. I... And I've screwed up ribs like a lot of times. That That's a good look right here. I wholeheartedly agree. And on this beautiful cutting board. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So these are baby backs. A little less meaty. Okay. Okay. I'll show the folks. These are the baby backs. Mm. If the camera would pull itself together. If the camera's focusing on your beauty, babe. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Ready? Come on, camera. Oh, it didn't even work. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> I'm still in the camera for yeah. you. Okay. Uh -huh. So these are the baby backs. Okay. So let's try this rub. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Those are good, too. Oh, no. They taste totally different. Yeah. There's two different rubs. I know. Well, I pick these, but I picked that rub. So you like the baby backs, but you like you like the rub that we put on the St. Louis. Mm -hmm. The rub that we put on the St. Louis was chicken fried barbecues, Texas rib grind. Mm -hmm. well, there you go. It's a rib one. And then the, the Russell and Rob's yeah. Fredericksburg, Texas rub was on the baby back. Yeah. So you like the flavor of the baby backs, the meat yeah. quality. But I like how juicy these are, and I actually really like the... The rub, I don't know. They're the both Texas really rib good. grind, really, you can't go wrong with that. That rub is... They're both really good. Bill, you did a fantastic job with that rub. My goodness. So, These are sweeter. Mm. This literally turned into a mukbang. Mm. So you have so an OnlyFans for that? Well, Like an OnlyFans for eating? Yeah, an eating OnlyFans and a feet mukbang? That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. You All guys, I know is these are the best ribs you've ever made. These these you were did a really good job. These were very good. Very best good. you've ever made. Very good. These turned out actually phenomenal. Phenomenal. You did. All good. right. Now the children can eat. Yes. All right. We will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.